Hi folks, welcome. So in this video, I'm simply going to talk about this product. It's actually an IP phone which is made of Android OS. So it's called FanVL X7A. And I'm going to tell you certain features that comes with this particular device. I'm going to talk, tell you about how this device works and its functionalities that comes with it. So first of all, let's start with the kind of operating system it uses. It's actually made of Android 9.0 operating system. And it provides a more intelligent and smoother touch operation. This interface allows touch so that you can simply touch instead of using the keys here. It has about 112 direct station selection keys on this 7 inch color touch screen. Okay, so when it's powered on, we are going to see the DSS or the direct station selection on this screen. This DSS keys allows you to do things like call forward, speed dials, group broadcast, okay, and it allows you to do the BLF. All right. The next thing that comes with this nice device, okay, is a built-in Wi-Fi. It has a built-in Wi-Fi of 2.4 gig and 5 gigahertz. Okay, and the reason why you have such Wi-Fi in these devices, um, in case you want to do away with cable connection to this device. You can always connect this device to your wife, existing Wi-Fi and still be able to achieve your um, IP PBX system. The next thing to talk about is it has an inbuilt Bluetooth as well to enable Bluetooth connection to this device. Okay, It comes with optional USB for fan wheel camera cm60 so this is the camera that comes with it an optional camera that you can always connect at the back here so this usb portion is for the camera and then you can you know put it up here and then you have your device looking like this for your conference and video calls all right so the next thing it delivers a superb audio and video for a group conference this is a speaker out if you want the speaker out this is where you can actually have it here the next thing is it supports both poe and external power supply so as we can see, this side is for direct power supply. And then one of these ports, I think this port allows you to provide it with power over Ethernet. If in case you don't want to use a direct power, you can plug because it supports power over Ethernet. So when you plug a power over Ethernet enabled device here, it actually powers this device on. Okay. The next thing is it supports EHS headset. You see, we have about four ports here. These are RJ45 ports, these are RJ11 ports, and this port is for the phone handle. This phone handle. Okay, this other port here. Is for the EHS headset 
or any other headset that supports RJ11. Okay, so let me quickly assemble this device and then present to you exactly how it looks like when it's when it's assembled and it's on its own. So let me quickly assemble it. Okay, so this portion, we have this space here to actually curl in your cables and then you connect to this port here. I hope you heard the sound. <laughs> the next thing is to put this stand underneath it. This stand comes with this device. So let me quickly do that. simple as this then we have it here so you have your 400 connected correctly okay then we have our camera also connected for your video conference and video calls okay So we have our video camera here set so if it's been set up correctly this is how you will always see it right the next thing is I'm going to power it on for you guys to see exactly how it works okay so currently I've powered it on and this is how it works when it's powered on. Okay, it's, it's done powered on. So as you can see, on the interface we have this Android background. Okay. So as it was stated earlier, it's a touch screen actually, so I can touch here and do whatever settings I need to do, like the network settings, the phone settings, the internet settings, service port, advanced. I can create account from here, okay, as in the PBX extension, I can create it from here. I can go on and configure the call, the headset, action plan, emergency call, transfer and conference, do not disturb, MCAST, and more. If I click on more, we have the password dial, call record, intercom, response code settings, read dial and call completion, number privacy, agent, third party app settings, and other settings. That's if you want to actually do a customized configuration. You know, we can go on with the audio. If you want to do any or add any codec to it, you can always do that. Else, you go back. So these are certain settings that comes with this device. You can click on the maintain. I guess... Uh, we need a password here. Yeah. Maintain has got to do with maybe upgrading the firmware or troubleshooting an error. Okay. If we go further. We have the SIP hotspot. Okay. So these are various um, functionalities that comes with it. That comes with the settings on this particular IP phone. If we go here, these are the menu. These are the list of things you can actually check. So let me quickly test the camera for you guys to see how it actually works. Okay. So I'm um, opening up the camera. So as we can view, these are the camera works. 
It's a very good camera and eight pixels is 1080 pixels. That's how good this camera is. As you can see, <laughs> you know, very good camera for your video conferencing and all your video calls, right? All right. So this is how it is. In case you don't, you don't want to be spied on or you want some privacy, you can turn a cover up here to actually cover the camera. Okay, in case you want privacy or you don't want anyone, any hacker to gain access to your camera and view you, you can just block the viewing. Else you leave it at default this way. So it comes with a lot. You can have your call log. You can actually view your call logs here. You have your dial. You know, you can check whatever here. It has a sound recorder where you can, you can even play video. You can keep notes. Okay. And stuff like that. And this is it about the Farmville X7A product. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I did a nice explanation. I would like to have your views on the various videos I do and what you think about them. Thank you very much again. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share. I'll be coming up with more videos and more technologies. Thank you. Only righteousness, Jablis, but they don't do